Hello guys and welcome to some more PlayStation VR and today we're checking out the Drive Club VR. I was never Drive Club's biggest fan, I'll be honest. It wasn't my favourite racing game of all time. But now I've got VR and for me, cockpit, uh, driving games, scary games are a perfect fit for VR. So, so if you guys want to see more Drive Club, let me know. Or if you guys want to see more VR games, I've got loads of VR games here. And uh, yeah, let's jump in guys. Drive Club VR. Oh yes. And there's the controls. I know those already, so that's good. Inspection mode. So here we go, guys. We're now, as a driver, we're standing next to our car. There's cars in front of us, cars behind us. Do we get inside the car? So if we look at it, hit that square, and then press square, it should jump us in. Oh! Oh my god, no. This is a little bit intense. Oh, this is mental. When do we go? Change the view. I right, press X to continue. Let's do this. Obviously, you can adjust it a little bit. I'm getting a little bit closer, further away. Hold to calibrate. So if I get down, oh, can I go really low? It's like Richard Hammond. And there's our hands. We have no arms, which is unfortunate, but fair enough. And let's start the event. Oh man, I'm excited. I feel like I'm really low here. <laughs> oh, so we can look around into our mirrors. Whoa, whoa. Absolutely dive there. This was really good. So I can sort of look into the apex. Absolutely now the corners. Look at my mirrors. Whoa. This is intense. This is so good. The thing I love about pressing VR, it, it just feels so easy to like, set up and actually use. It's literally a press of a button, put the game in. I might have to calibrate it, but compared to like my PC, which is like the Vive and the Oculus Rift. Those take ages to set up, and it's just so annoying. That, that, oh, okay, that's like average speed. Nice. I heard a trophy. Don't know what the trophy's for, but I did hear a trophy sound. So you guys are watching this, I guess, a slightly lower resolution. It looks, oh, he outbreaks me on your screen, but it looks pretty sharp on here. It does look pretty good. So it's not quite as good as the full game, uh, without VR. But it feels pretty good. Pretty, pretty one of the better looking games on VR. My mirrors. What was that one in front of me? Is that like a plastic bag? I can see ya! Yep, yeah, I can. Where is it? There he is! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, you little bitch! How many laps is this? I don't know. Is that hard above us? Two laps. Okay, cool. Where's my competition? I can see him in my mirror. I'm, feel, I'm feeling quick. I'm feeling quick. There's the hard. So I guess if I went further back, away from the screen, I can see the hard a bit better, maybe. I don't know. It's quite high for me. I've got to look up. Still see him. Still see him. He's looking. He wants to overtake me. What right, bitch? I feel like the assist might be actually. I swear it's like auto braking for me. I think it is. It's braking for me. What is this? Let's turn it off. Uh, settings. I love just even like option menus. Like going into them and like looking at them in VR. I mean, this option menu looks really, really good. Like ultra, ultra sharp. Uh, so gameplay. I don't want it to break for me. There we go. Why is that on for? Turn that off. Uh, if else, I think that's fine. Also, I love also. I don't like manual cars in racing games. I don't know why. I drive manual in real life, but I just I can't handle it. It's weird. Has that been saved? It has. I now have to brake for myself. Good. Well, I like. So it won't brake for me. It's like a medium brake assist, which I, I don't like brake assist at all. Well, that's a handful. That's definitely a handful. Target laps there as well, lots of information. There's the speed, 135 miles an hour. Is this like the aerial acting thingy? Something like that. Man, it totally goes on forever. One thing I would like is like some way to sort of tell where I'm on the track. So I know what's going to come up next. Apart from that, solid. Very, very solid. Oh, there's a different view. That's just, that's just weird. There's my bumper. So, there you go, guys, that is Drive Club. That is our first race done. I feel like I want to do some more. I want to keep playing. Ah, uh, yeah, the BAC Mono, that's what it is. Or it's something like that. Position one, there's my lap time. There's my average speed over a certain distance. And done it, got all the stars. Yay! So there's been a lot of improvements to this game um, outside of the initial launch. I played it at launch and didn't really like it too much. Now it's got bikes in it and lots and lots of updates as I hit my desk. Sorry, desk. And there's some like XP drive club stuff points yay done it well done 
Ooh. I unlocked a new car. A VW Beetle. Very nice. Oh, what's this? Concept car. Peugeot EX1 concept. Very tasty. All right, let's continue. I'm done. Right, let's uh, yep, continue. I'm good. That was fun though. You can just see I was like one to one looking around. It was, it felt good. And there, uh, there I am on the podium. Mm. So we do it, guys. So we do it. So got garage replays, browse the clubs, create a club. Let's go for drive. I want to drive something. Fame. That's what it is. You have to get famous in this game. Uh, let's go for the tour and see what's going to come next. Uh, anything I can get my hands into and enjoy. I quite like the look of landing gear. Not what car that is, but we're going to find out very soon, I guess. Oh, was it Peugeot's? So here's the leaderboard, guys, of all the time so far. Obviously, the game isn't out yet. Uh, it comes out on the 13th, I believe. I'm playing a little bit early. Uh, I've got to try and get a 124. And Digital Foundry's there. They're so cool. I love those guys. They are so talented at what, what they do. They like measure FPS counts, resolutions. They test the games for us, which is great. I, I do like those guys. Right, let's begin. Let's play. Let's go for them again. That looks a bit more racy, so let's go with that. Sounds good to me. Factory, yes. Factory paint job. I'm just so excited for VR right now. I feel like the PlayStation VR uh, is a little bit more mainstream. It's a, little bit, it's a little bit more accessible. It's easier to set up. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I am. Definitely. And this is perfect. Cockpit views. Sitting down in a, in a race car. Just suits me perfectly. I love it. Here we go, guys. I'm ready. Go. Get a good start. Reach 131 miles an hour and get the target time of 124. I love the fact they're using like the HUDs in the car, sort of like display information. And also, we're changing gear. You can see the hands. That is pretty neat. I like that. How those guys go in front of me? Those stars. How, how have they done that? This is a time-based thing, by the way. Don't know why I break there. Why did I break? I don't quite know. I don't know. Almost 131. Not quite, though. Not quite, not quite. That's perfect. That's perfect. Lovely break in. Look at my mirrors. I can see a star behind me. I'm just going to face off. I'll try and hit this line as best as I can. So nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it. Ah, oh, look at those points. Loads and loads of points, mate. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. This is where I think I might be playing Drive Club a little bit more. With this VR, it, it, it's good. It's very, very good. It feels comfy. It's already the headset feels great. And the game feels really good in VR. Like, really good. Oh shit, no. Oh, just missed that completely. Oh shit, no. See, that's why I need like a little map or something. Just to know, just to know where I'm going. So I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm doing okay though. Come on. We need that speed, don't we? That's what we need. 131 miles an hour. I'm not going to do that, am I? Because that's the finish line. Damn, I was so close. I was literally 0.03. Can't if I was that close to getting that last start. I was so, so close. Damn it. And my finish time was 121. I could do a little bit better if I had a couple more tries. But that was my first go, so... I'll let myself off. Right, let's do... I'm enjoying this. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Why not? A little bit more fame. I you know that wasn't a bad sign, but I mean, Digital Foundry got a 119, I believe, so I've got to step it up. I've got to step it up. Let's do Crystal Lake. Right, I think I'm ready, guys. So if I can get uh, a three minutes, five seconds lap time, I'm gonna try to aim for three minutes and six seconds, like overall race time. I'm gonna try and do that. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Let's do it. Play. Oh, look at the cars available. Oh, this is more like it. This is more like it. Ooh. California. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be the Ferrari California. It's got to be. Right, are you guys ready? I know I am. Oh, look at this. I love the fact you feel like a driver coming into your car. It's pretty sweet. Right, X. Let's begin it. I think I'm pretty much set up. It's just the way it starts straight away. No loading screen as well. You jump to your seat, ready to go. Boom! Oh, this car sounds nice. Oh, baby! Little lights. That is cool. 
think it's like a paddle, isn't it? It's paddles. Where do I break? Where do I break? I don't know. I don't know this track very well. Come on, baby. Believe. VW in front of me. Can't have that. I'm in a goddamn Ferrari, bitch. Get out of my way. Whoa. Works, I guess. Just about. Oh, that did actually work somehow. I don't know how. I'm trying to get a good average speed here. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Try again. I will. I will. My cornering was too slow. Look at that sunlight. Absolutely mega. The weird floating hands are a bit weird, but it's understandable. Because every wheel is like slightly different size, it's, it's, it'd be like near impossible. And the fact that you can adjust the seat as well, if you, you could do, you could, the arms would be really, really long at certain points. It, it does make sense. Right, so I think I'm in the top three at the moment. Um, I don't know about lap time, 133.5. Can't see my opponents behind, oh shit. A bit wide here, just, just a tiny bit wide, it's so good. It takes a bit of getting used to. I don't know the track layout, of course, which is definitely a factor. Getting used to the VR as well. Oh man, they're all over me. They're all over me like a rash. What do you guys want? I'm in first place with this man. You can piss off. Oh, the guy smacked right in the back of me. I did sort of uh, brake test him a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. Just a tiny bit. Nail it. Yeah, I'm definitely a bit cautious at times. I think he's all over me. It's scary. In fact, you can just see him that. Like, yeah, don't you dare try that bitch. Don't you try and go around me. Get the inside line. Oh man, this car is. Bit. Oh my god. Oof. Oh, I got it. Oh, match to just scrape through. It's one star. Do it, guys. Let's have do it. Imagine this with a wheel as well. See, that's where this game gets good. Like, if you get a wheel set up, which I do, I have an Xbox and a PC set up for a wheel, but unfortunately not a PS4. And I might have to invest in one. I might have to do that. How's my lap time looking? One minute ten. This is where I can get it. Is, it, is, this, is this a two lap race by the way? I can't see, I have no idea. The HUD has disappeared, I can't see it. Do a drift, why not? Oh man, <laughs> nailed it! Man, they're still behind me though. They can sense my fear. They can sense it. What are you, what are you trying to do? You dare try to take me a bitch. Oh, did you get me at the end? Hope not. That would suck. Right, so now on the side of the track. Where did I come? I came first place. Oh my god! What? Hannah Smith actually exactly the same time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I got. I, my lap times weren't good enough. I was, I was quite slow apparently. Oops. Anyway, my driver level is now three and my car level for Ferrari is Spain 2. And apparently I unlocked a new car, a new Audi. Very nice. A1 Quattro. Ooh, a W Motors. Oh man, this thing's a beast. That's the one in Fast and the Furious. Absolute crazy car. Stupidly quick. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy Drive Club VR. If you guys want to see more, leave a like on this video. Let me know. Or any other sort of VR games on PlayStation VR. Let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.